both colleges making a little bit of noise for their players. Now this is interesting. How much of Dark Samus' toolkit does Chrom Jab beat? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about um, Morph Ball. Because I feel Chrom Jab will just get through missiles, at least uh, regular missiles. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about hard missiles. I think a lot of this matchup is going to be dealing with Samus' massive pivot grab, as well as just charge shot, because charge shot's going to deny recovery, charge shot's going to command space, and Chrom needs that space to go in. Jay started with an early lead, but uh, Rox is picking up some heavy damage here. Jay's looking just about dead. And yeah, charge shot gonna just take out Krom up here. Our darks. Dark Samus is heavy, so she's going to be living for quite some time. Jab back air, though. Jab back air, not going to take it. Yeah! Oh, F-Tilt getting so close. very close. You can see Jay is just opting for the stage control. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the pivot grabs coming in. Yeah! F-Tilt going to take the first stop. Problem F-Tilt taking it. Jay, not too far behind, made up that stock quite quick. No, one... Grab can really get 50% with Krom. Frankly, one unsafe aerial on Krom can get him 20. <laughs> yeah, but I think Neferox is playing the the patient game very well, while not trying. Oh, one there, gonna be starting. Not a lot, but Jay finally getting some damage on this second stock. Nice roll through that morph ball. There's some damage. Jay's playing a lot less aggressive than I'd expect his Krom to play. Very smart Ooh. counter. That up smash could have sealed the stock after the counter, but he was able to get his shield up. Yep. Well, there's that pivot grab again, and I think Jay is just dead. Oh, Ooh, just barely grabs that ledge. Oh. Tries to recover with the air dodge, but the, the bomb's going to catch him. Jay's slowly figuring this out, but he's running out of time. He needs to close out this stock and see if he can get another. I think Jay needs to try to figure out when uh, Neferox is landing with what options and how he can safely get down. Because right now, Neferox has done 62% in just catching Jay landing. Mm -hmm. He also needs to find something to deal with that uh, upbeat because Necrox is doing a lot of work with that. Ooh, Jab Bear not connecting. Jab Bear is in uh, kill range though. Oh, yeah. Oh, tries to read neutral get up with the um, M tilt. Jab, charge Jab shot, charge shot takes, takes it. Unfortunate first pick for RAT into a hard matchup. Binghamton with an early lead. I feel like they might send in Weffle. No, I feel like they might send in Question. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Question. So you said there's two Samuses. There's two. Two yes. Samuses. Yep, Question's yeah, coming in. Question. Gonna oh. be seeing Nest Dark Samus. Gonna fare a lot better than Krom. <laughs> RAT having a little pep talk. Getting a little help from Pika Peak. A little bit of help from everyone. Let's go, Matt! Let's go, Matt! Let's go, Matt! Let's go, Matt! Yeah! Let's go, Matt. Let's I love how, like, after every Weffles Yield, there's the. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see how Nefrax yeah. is gonna deal with Ness. I actually remember seeing one of their sets at an RIT bi weekly. Nefrox took the first game, and the Ness uh, question took the other two. So. 
I'm not, sh and the game three was a, two, uh, a low percent two stock, so I'm not sure if Questions feels strongly about dealing with Nefrox right now. Not sure if he hasn't figured out. Uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully he remembers everything from it, because I don't know how long ago that must have been. That's a crew battle countdown. Very nice. Already we see Ness pressing many buttons. Yep, their jab heavy crap. It's very strong. Yeah, normally Question likes to play a very shielded game and then punish out of that shield, and that grab is going to uh, be pretty rough to deal with. We're missing the punish on that whiffed up B. Although he certainly had a lot less time than I was expecting. Looking for an offstage PK fire. Ooh, he's activating the PK fire on the morph ball. That's pretty smart. That gets some nice little PK fire damage there. Now questions the one looking in control. Tries to catch a neutral or roll get up with PK fire. Ah, uh, that was a risky magnet. Nefrox could have done a jump back here. Landing with that back air, hitting like a truck, but thankfully not killing. Oh, best air dodge in the game. Oh, catches him, but with the... But hits him with the head instead of the tail. I wonder if he was dead if he didn't hit the head. And I ooh. think Nefrox still, Nekorox still had his jump. Uh, Nekorox taking the first stock. Now it's now they're even. Uh, Nef Bing is now a full uh, person ahead. Question's got to do something to keep RAT in this. Oh man, Nekorox is just putting on so much damage right now. Oh, sick up smash yes. takes it. And question really needs to pull something out here. Oh, healing gets, off gets the... Gets a nice little heal. Mm. It still thinks the uh, he would be able to get picked up from the charge shot. Oh, that fair. Air dodges the fair, but he just does not. Mm. Gets the bonk, but no. He was under the stage. The PK Thunder would have gone away. Yeah, Necrox just has incredible momentum right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Who catches the double jump, but Necrox air dodges right back on stage. There we go. There we go. Question starting to get a hold on Necrox's ledge options, which is very helpful. He needs to hold on to this stock for dear life and get rid of this Necrox stock to give RIT a chance. That PK fire just barely missing, but Question putting on good pressure right now. Questions doing a really good job of poking and almost gets him with the uh, up smash. But there it is, the jab heavy grab. Oh, Ooh, but that, the bear just, just takes, takes it, it, catches him di and out, tried to roll away. RIT is now down two stocks. Question doing his best to keep RIT in. Oh, Necrox being a kind gentleman and disconnecting his controller. Let's go disconnecting pro controllers. Yeah, we'll go responsible pro controller owners. You can press A, Matt. <laughs> and now we're going to see the other Samus player, uh, Rock, coming in from Binghamton. Binghamton liked what they saw with their Samus's against Question's Ness. But as you said, Question lost game one, but won games two and three, so let's see if he can make that same quick adjustment. Uh, I find Brock to be very patient. Very patient. Here's a question. Does... PSI Magnet absorb missiles when they hit Ness and explode, or does Ness no. just get hurt by it? Ness gets hit. They're on opposite.
They have they're on the wrong players. Alright, whatever. Two, one, go. Oh yeah, we have that. Duh. Alright. Uh let's see how much question can take off with his last stock. Ooh, catches the double jump with the grab. Ooh, oh. tried to go for the dare. Question goes for one of his own. Neither of them working out. Now we're back to playing a slightly crackheadish less game. Brock's now just gonna wait for the patient, uh, play the patient game until Jess throws out an angry aerial. There's that up out of shield. Didn't see that once from uh, the other Samus. Necrox. Necrox. Bad with things. Air dodge is the super missile. Question finally gets itself back on stage a little bit. Wanted to absorb the charge shot, but just doesn't have it. Ooh, almost gets hit by that down tilt. Almost flies out of up. Almost, almost gets hit by the smash four up B. Oh, Ooh, that is flesh. most no, is not not for grab. Is up there? No, back there. I was expecting to see a down smash on the. Is that gonna jab one, <laughs> jab two? Not only did Samus hit jab two, but jab two killed. What a combo! Put it in the record books. November tenth, twenty nineteen. <laughs> Nearly a month after Smash Ult nearly a year after Smash Ultimate comes out. Same jab, jab worked. Jab works. Sorry T now behind the eight ball down an entire player. And they need something to deal with Samus. Um, I feel like Nerfan might want to come in. They have Nerfan with Shulk. Pterodax with Belmont. Belmonts. And Weffles, Weffles with Simon. Snake. Snake, yeah. His name is Simon. Is Simon. <laughs> um, I feel like... Oh, it th looks like they're going to be sending in Pterodax. <laughs> I'm not against the Pterodax play. I'm not either. Originally, they had mentioned they wanted Pterodax to be the anchor because zoners are very good at Anchoring. existing for yeah. a long time. And Pterodax is a very good ledge trapper. I've certainly fallen victim to that many times. Uh, the, the real option that I don't, I'm not sure if Rock's going to go for is just waiting and then neutral get upping during. Oh, um, holy water. Oh, holy water. Because mutual get up will basically get him out of any confirmed element can get off of the fire. Mm -hmm. But it is a little tricky. You need to make sure you don't neutral get up too soon, or you'll still get caught by the fire. Yeah. And you need to make sure you don't neutral get up too late, or Simon's just gonna let the F smash fly and catch you on the ledge. If you even go a little bit too early, you can still get out of every, anything that Simon wants to do with an air dodge. The question is if the Belmont player can deal with that. Alright, starting off the match with, with the Holy Fire. Ooh, no right. countdown this time. Both players had three stocks. Uh, Cross had... Uh, Interacted with um, charge shot. I'm not sure if that works with full charge shot or not, but it it might. All right, Teradax finally getting a little bit of damage there. Ooh, whip beating hard missile. That could be key. Ooh, locks Samus into the dash attack there, and then hits with Bear. Paradax is slowly figuring this out. He just needs them. All right, so it seems like three quarters charge shot will just go through cross there. Mm. 
Brock, uh, very patient, just waiting for Teradax to throw out the one bad option that will secure him the stock. Teradax's shield looking dangerously low. So much damage. Now what happened to like week one where everyone was saying that down throw fair wasn't true and why is it working on everybody now? Um, oh, catch them with the holy water, that's the a stock. Jab, pivot, grab. That down tilt is how Teradax started his first stock, so let's see if he can get something nice this time around. Oh, guess Ooh, double hit on the cross. cross. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Teradax tried to make an approach without any kind of shielding. And Belmont's not don't they don't have the strongest to your game, but it's definitely obnoxious. However, Brock's been doing an incredible job of forcing Teradax to do everything and falling right into his hands. Ooh, Teradax nice looking for that up smash. I think that might have killed. If he lands this holy water, it will. Ah, he expected a jump from Rock. However, Teradax is bringing this back quite nicely. Gets his jump, but was too busy throwing holy water to get it. Oh, whips him in the face. Oh, oh that. Ooh. Rock on ledge again, jumps, gets, oh, no, gets dash attacked for it. Good patience on Teradax to just not swing at all. That, that's what he's been getting punished for. He's get, getting punished for swinging way too early and in the wrong spots. And there's the bear. Approaching bear gets it. We're seeing uh, It's Time from, uh, I actually don't know what his voice line is. Oh, here it is. About to see some quick damage from Samus here. That's some big damage. Air jab. <laughs> now Teradax fighting from behind, but he's been fighting from behind all game. It'll be good to see if he can get something going here, or if he'll just get charge shotted. RIT is now down four stocks. With Nerfan and Waffles left. I see Nerf unwrapping her controller. I think they are going to send in Nerfan. I feel like Nerfan would have been a better pick sooner because Shulk can command a lot of space, which Samus, which Belmont does do, but also Shulk has the ability to kill er, kill early with safer options without forcing ledge. Belmonts require you to be on ledge to kill. Got a Dunban coming through. Three, two, one, go! This is the Monado, this is the Monado, this is the Monado, this is the Monado! They're giving us a little bit of education now. And it goes without saying, but Nerf absolutely wants 
to close out this stock as, as soon, soon as, as possible. possible. Not does not want to lose the stock of her own. I would have backslashed there. It would have <laughs> been funny. And big damage. A lot of RIT has had trouble with dealing with Samus up the out of shield. I, I wouldn't necessarily say up the out of shield. They just... They've just been struggling with landing in general. Nerf going uh, and smash of error early. I wonder if she's going to look for uh, tried some to sort of rock. hard read. Tried. I mean, Rock has been jumping from ledge uh, quite a lot, especially against Teradax. Uh, so I think she was gambling on an early kill from uh, catching a jump. All right, now we've got uh, the shield art coming out. But that was a very early shield, so not quite sure. Now Ooh, the speed uh, Monado coming in. Nerf getting in there way faster than Rock was expecting. All right, now we've got Red Shulk. And he's unable to really get anything from it. Uh, hmm. Not how sure how I feel about that F-Smash. Oh, gets clipped by the bomb. Oh, no, he doesn't keep him off from like, uh, Air Slash 2. Nerf is just looking for something to deal with. And, back and there it is. Stop. Oh, hey, I know who that is. Hi, Smokey Chan. I actually made the way out. <laughs> so six stocks to nine. RIT down an entire player. How many stocks did Rock did he take? He took one from Question. All three of Pterodaxes. So took four stocks, stocks total. Necrox also took four? Five. five. Took, Necrox took five. Sam is coming through, putting in the work. Oh yeah. We are finally going to see a character which is not Samus. Uh, so it seems that Lucario player that you're thinking of still does play Lucario. PGIS plays Lucario. Um, Red Robin plays Bayonetta and Robin. Uh, not maybe Daisy. I'm not sure. Um, and and three by three. I that's what they put in three slash three. Um, played Peach and Joker in friendlies. So. All right, we got PGIS coming in. What you have to do is you have to not get hit, and you need to hit them. <laughs> and we got another pro controller user. I wonder if PGIS is as responsible as Necrox. Yeah, the, the two Samus <laughs> players took four and five stocks. And that whole put all of our tags in at the beginning, I think, didn't work. Ah, uh, guess not. Yeah, uh, playing Rock and Friendlies on the Long Island definitely felt that he was a very patient player. But Stop 
uh, question. Uh, first was Jay, then was question, then was Teradax. Alright, we've got Nerfan, PGIS, full stocks on each of them. They're just going to get right into it. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I want to see from Nerfan is being able to secure early kills. Yes, especially, absolutely. Especially with the Karya's Aurea. I have not fought PGIS in this game. Uh, in Smash 4, he was an aggressive Lucario. So, I feel like in this game where aggression is definitely favored with the engine, I feel like PGIS might still be aggressive, but also still favor um, the zoning game at high percents. Seeing an early shield arc coming out, just trying to get out of any combo that Lucario could have. EGIS is really using that Aura Sphere to stuff out any grounded approach. He's doing a good job at racking up uh, percentage. Especially since Shulk was in Buster Art. Oh, we got Ooh, huge the Aura Sphere and Up Smash. Ooh, that's a slick little combo there. Nerf needs to put on damage and... Oh! I don't know why she was charging that forward smash. Alright, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Nerf was looking to close out that stock right there. They're both just playing patient. Oh yeah. Especially Nerf. Nerf does not want to get hit right now. EGIS has been uh, doing a really good job at using these aura spheres. Just to catching Nerf's approach with it. All right, well now we're seeing Smash Art come out. Tries to catch a jump, but... I know you can kind of see Nerf is almost in panic mode, just going for that landing up there three times. Nerf really just angled up Smash. I have Smash. Nerf's really just trying to get a stop. Just trying to give Weffles whatever advantage he can. I'm not sure if Smash will stop till we'll even kill at this point. The shield on the neutral B. Trying to B catch a get up option with forward air. DGIS was just waiting down there, just waiting for Nerf to commit to something. Lucario is at his win percent though, and Nerf's not being able to get a single strong hit. I really thought that last fair was going to catch it. Must have just been a frame too slow. Yeah, F-Tilt takes one stock. F-Tilt taking the stock, getting a little bit of dial storage up. And you know Nerf wants the second stock. Oh, Nerf 100% wants the second stock. The question is, is PGIS going to be able to play patient enough um, to prevent... Oh! Catches the roll in. PGIS is playing really patient. Oh yeah. That counter not taking it. Lucario at very low aura right now. Oh, was that up air? Yeah, that up air just barely not killing. Nerf racking up a little bit of percentage. Nerf can kill right here. Mm, oh, that. EJS whiffs the punish, but Smash, Mar Smash Art is over. Nerf is going to be stalling. First so, smash art again. Yeah. 
but also still keeping up some form of pressure. Oh, I Ooh, think nearly she runs right into that. It looked like she might have wanted shield there. Oh, gets good, good shield. roll away on that. Smart shield activation in case she got too free. And that Lucario F smash sent shield Shulk pretty far. And Smash Arts Shulk back is, online. Shulk is at 191. Oh. I was really thinking Nerf was gonna run in and grab right there. Is that F smash? No. That's the down smash. Buster's an interesting play. Uh, looking for that. Ooh! Buster cancels at just the right time. Gets the air slash. You can actually just cancel it. Oh, bet. And counter the counter take takes it. it. 191. Nerf fan taking two stocks off of PGIS. So that that was why she wanted Buster. Wanted yes. to lower the knockback. It it's true. Down throw up B and down throw F smash are a 50 50. Well, down throw up B is straight up true. Uh, and you can mix it up with an F smash to try to kill even earlier. Yeah. If they try to DI down and away or air dodge it just catches it and you get a super early kill especially if you activate smash hard so it sounds like the plan is just always take the air slash uh no because air slash doesn't kill as early and if you can no 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 like oh. if you're getting hit by shulk always take the air slash because if the air slash is true but the f smash is a mix up a gamble but the thing is, is you still want to get out of the up b in case they mess up because it's a super tight window yeah I think you you have to you have to walk a little bit in between fr uh, from the down throw cancel to the up to make it true. Seven stocks on the board, Binghamton. Weffles has three. Weffles, if he does take uh, when he, if he does take the one stock from Lucario, uh, PGIS, um, probably gonna have to run through Red Robin and three by three. Or uh, one important thing to note about this matchup is that Lucario will be starting with more aura because he's down two stocks. Oh, that's true and busted. No real way around that, but... No, that's just how the character <laughs> works. So Lucario's straight up going to be doing more damage. What a snake. Simon starting out. Signature. Two, one. Let's go, Simon! <laughs> Simon. Does, Weffles does not want to approach, but. Oh, the up throw near did 30. Kari is that, crazy. That, that's that extra aura coming into play. Yeah. Uh, I believe he gets max. Uh, he gets potent aura around 60 now. This. Yeah, Lucario's aura, his, it's already, it's already going. Yeah. So it's on Weffles to just close this out real quick. Yeah. The longer PGIS is alive, uh, the more Weffles <laughs> uh, has a chance of getting rocked. I, I imagine he was trying to stick BJS with that. I think he just wanted to be oh, able to Oh, but the bear. Around. That bear thick with aura takes it. Ooh, tries to catch a roll of wow with uh, aura spear. Buffle's going crazy with the C4. He's just trying to use any option he can that will put uh, Lucario in disadvantage. Playing with Nikita a little bit too long. PGIS mm -hmm. doing a good job at working around it. PGIS is just doing an incredible job of staying alive and just being able to dodge all the setups. Oh, Diamond looking for that up tilt. The F smash. Weffles got a little bit greedy there. Wuffles just wants to get stock. Well, 
that Nikita's falling in a good way. Down smash two frames it. Looks like they're going to be sending in Red Robin. I'm not sure if he's going to be playing Bayo. I feel like he might play Robin. Especially with the new buffs Robin's got. Yeah, especially with the new buffs. But also, I could definitely see Bayonetta coming out. He played him in Smash 4. He played her in Smash 4, so... He definitely has the experience uh, with dealing how, with dealing with disadvantage with Bayo. Uh, but we're going to see the Red Robin coming out. So if you think I know anything about Robin Snake, you've got another thing coming. Uh, um, I'd imagine that nades get blown up by fire, and I'm not sure about the cast, if it, it'll go through it or it'll blow up on, activate on spot. So I feel like that's going to be a, a large way that yeah. um, Red Robin's going to be playing. Uh, there really aren't any snakes on Long Island. But also, Red Robin is a very good player, and I'd imagine he'd be able to just take the stock. I see that we're talking about how Team Orange and Team Black are unbalanced, and that is intentional. Team Orange is supposed to be loaded up with RIT's best players. There goes Waffles doing the thing. Three, two, one, go! Waffles facing another disadvantage from this oh. stuff. Oh, Waffles didn't have the right song on. He's facing another disadvantage from the start because Robin is starting with Levin Sword instead of needing to have that little charge. Red Robin's just using all of the tomes. Oh, all of them. Grenades gets Weffles out of there, though. Now, I wonder if uh, Red Robin's going to be using Nosferatu for the book, mainly, because it only goes away in three charges. Three uses. Ooh, shields the... Hell Thunder going to catch uh, Nikita. And Ooh, the up smash takes it. Uh, Binghamton gonna take it over RIT Black with six docks. Six docks to zero. Uh, the key players being Nekarox and Rock taking five and four stocks respectively. Although that still means the Lucario player took four stocks himself. Oh yes, EGIS did. Two of Waffles and two of Nerf hands. No, three of Nerf. Did PGIS take five stocks? Four. Four? Three of Nerf fans. Three of Nerf. Two of Waffles. Five two stocks. Waffles. Yeah. Five stocks. Bracket update coming up in winners finals of the cruise. We have RIT Orange versus Binghamton. In losers semis, we have RIT Orange versus. Oh. In losers semis, we have University of Buffalo waiting on the winner of RIT Black versus Bovar. And that's it. Whitener did not show up. Only six crews. No, seven. Well, technically six. Whitener DQ. And I believe the top four move on to CSL? I, I don't know.
I'm glad. I'm glad that the New New York qualifier is still listed as TBD on their <laughs> website. Yeah. Very cool. I remember hearing somewhere it was top four, but perhaps I heard it from the Ghost of Lies. So I'm Binghamton. We have Necrox. Ooh, that Rocks. was a nice bloop. That's a little thing. We have Necrox and Rock, the, start, the Samus players. Both of them seeming to opt for Dark Samus. Dark Samus is cooler. Yeah, can't argue that. We have... JIW? Uh, no. PGIS. PGIS. Almost. Um, Red Robin and I think uh, 3 slash 3, whatever. That's what they've been inputting as their tag. I don't know the tag. Red Robin had opted for Robin last time. PGIS playing Lucario and 3 slash 3 they Peach or Joker. Joker, you said? That's what I played in Friendlies with, but. And on the RAT side, we have Kreninja, who will most likely be going Joker or Cloud. Yeah. We have Mr. Ebox, who will be playing Palutena, Riley on DDD, ZG on Fox, and Oist on Yoshi. Yes. Seems both teams are just taking a small break before getting into the next match. Winner of this obviously moves on to grand finals. The two teams are talking between each other. Uh, it seems like they're both ready. They're just waiting on Ebox to come back from wherever he is. Seems like they've gotten their double blind picks. Yes, uh, they've got their characters locked. So for those of you who have just tuned in, 
This is frame 7 at the Holiday Inn Rochester. We are partnered with CSL and we're currently doing our CSL qualifiers on the Smash Ultimate side. There's both Melee and Ultimate being run here. Ultimate singles are scheduled to start at 3. We'll see how that actually plays out. Mm -hmm. We fit broken. Inkling brain dead. And there's a lot of just strong competition here. Certainly not your crouching tigers or prowling grounds. It's pretty much all high level competition here. Mm -hmm. Like I'm probably dead. It's the worst person here. <laughs> oh, talking about putting money on it. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you get kicked out of CSL. Money match, but not bracket. Money match. Nazareth has walked back in with proper clothing now. <laughs> First suits allowed at RAT. What's up? Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Lycos did it a lot. Fursuit's known as the furry mecha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lycos would wear his paws while playing. Paws and ha uh, head while playing. And when he fist bumped you, it would squeak. Because there was a squeaky toy in the middle knuckle. And then he'd mess you up. And it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> What's up? Uh oh. How much? All right. Seems like we have our players picked.